What's the drinking paradox? Well, you see, Jeremy, the drinking paradox was created in this beautiful place known as Yorkton, Saskatchewan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, what? Okay, this is completely, I have no idea what he's talking about. This is completely random. So what basically, the drinking paradox is if you're one behind the other drinking-wise, yeah. you have to drink when they catch up. That's the paradox. <laughs> That's not a paradox at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, cheers. Cheers, bud. A little hay all for you. We're drinking some hay alls. And I just, okay, I, I just want to open up with this. For anyone who um, drinks hay y'alls, when you finish a hay y'all, there's something very important you need to do. It's true. You throw it up on your head, you put it above your head, and you throw it down, and on the way down, you yell, hey y'all! Hey y'all! It's like a gronk. You gronk yeah. it. You oh. gronkowski it. Yeah. Let's turn ourselves up a little bit here. Yeah. There you go. You like that a little bit more? That sounds much huh? better. I'll turn myself down a little bit there, too. Turn you up a little bit. How about that? I love it. There we go. That's actually great. So, anyways, um, yeah, welcome to uh, Bunch of Grifters podcast number 17. Episode uh, 17. And uh, it's a kind of a special one. As you can see, we've made it. We've touched <laughs> down into Rough Riderville, <laughs> Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Yeah, we're at the local rink called the Kinsman Arena. That's where I used to play hockey. Yeah, we're up in the attic. It's actually super roomy in here. They had more than enough room to put our little box of a podcast room in, so yep. we set it up. They had one of these. Uh, Brett brought this from home. Um, yep. So, yeah, anyways, we're we're pumped. We're pumped to be in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. <laughs> Nowhere else I'd rather be. <laughs> it's a beautiful plus three today. <laughs> beautiful March. Uh, it's a miracle March. It is miracles. Uh, have you had any miracles this this week at all that you can um, think of? I mean, than, that fucking hose spray was a miracle myself. Other than rubbing my fake pussy, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. <laughs> Brett got into sh- some shenanigans. Safe shenanigans, yeah. might I add. Yeah. Very safe. Nothing but safe. You got to be safe when you're yeah, yeah. Shen- when yeah. It's shenanigans. Especially out. when you're in uh, machinery that can kill you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's legal things saying no dicking around. <laughs> Uh, called, um, you you got to dick around the dick around. Yeah, it's a it's a dicky do. Yeah, you got a dicky do around the dick around. That actually <laughs> makes so much sense though. You kind of have to sidestep it a little bit. You got a dick around the dick around. Pretty much is what we're saying is you don't run next to a pool, but sometimes you gotta run. Yeah, if you're jumping in, run into it next to the pool. You know, there's been some hard falls. That's just it. Falls. You're not supposed to run near the pool, but what when you're running into the pool? Then it's allowed. It's like there's exceptions. <laughs> At a young age, we're taught that everything's bullshit and that rules mean nothing. Mm-hmm. And it stems from running in the pool. Yeah. That's where Holy it fuck. That's, that's a that's a good idea. That's really like crazy, that. actually. Yeah. We've been brainwashed. We're worse than iPad kids. Probably. That's not true. No. <laughs> you have two of them. <laughs> yeah. iPad kids are the worst. Yeah, I have two kids. I wonder what 17-year-olds will be in, like, you know. Six years. Fuck. Seven years. The 10-year-olds out there right now, what will they be when they're 17? It's crazy. It's crazy to they're see. They're going to be good with those iPads. Fucking right they will. Yeah. I've seen my my little cousin. He plays Roblox, and like he played Minecraft first. He never played Minecraft on a computer, which yeah. is insane. Um, he played it on an iPad, <laughs> and he was nuts. He's like, good? Well, you just get used to it, right? I fucking hated playing it on that. Map. Oh, dude, I couldn't do it. But so annoying. if they're not used to using a controller because they've been playing Halo since they were four years old yeah. on the fucking Duke controller. You remember the Dukes? <laughs> That's like the big Xbox controller? That's the fucking... It was, it was built for, like, <laughs> men. It fun. was built for men. <laughs> Bill Gates was saying, I got big hands. I remember I couldn't you play don't? it, man. No, you it couldn't. It was so hard. As a kid, you couldn't. And it's... It, they got to be. They got to make it work. Do you for think kids. that was the, uh, like the idea behind having the bigger, bigger controller was so that kids couldn't play? Oh my God, no. Okay, Is that I, an idea? I I actually watched this YouTube thing. Uh, Xbox. If you go to Xbox's YouTube, they released like a six part documentary. Each one of them is like fifty minutes. Mm-hmm. It's like a fucking six hour documentary on the Xbox and how Xbox came to be. Yeah. Honestly, I didn't expect we were going to get onto Xbox here. Uh, this is such a tangent, but beautiful. Um, the Xbox story is fucking fascinating. And the fact that what they did back in like 03, whenever they were like starting, well, I think it was before that even. It yeah. was like in 95, they started building the Xbox because that's when the PlayStation was out. And they're like, there could be something here. Yeah, we got to do something. They had the plan back then, their greater plan 
was to get into cloud gaming. Really? And they haven't done it until this year. Like Xbox, like Game Pass is literally destroying everything. Yeah. They have Activision now. They have Bethesda. They have like all of these companies. All the good shit. They have a lot of good shit. Yeah. They also, people don't rem- know this, they made some of the good shit too. Like Flight Simulator, the first Flight Simulator was like, li- like life changing for some people. Because yeah. you could actually fly around the world. Yeah. Right now, the new flight simulator is nuts. Is it? It's. N- I haven't seen it. My one friend, he like he's got a stupid gaming computer that's ridiculous. He lives in rural Vernon. Okay. Right up in Dirty Vern. The Dirty Vern. North of you know, if we were in Kelowna, it would be that way. Yeah. Um, and um, Vernon is very wooded, right? And if you go any further east, you're going to the Kootenays pretty much, right? Yeah. So he goes like northeast up into the woods where there's fuck all, and he flies up there, and he said he's found little lakes, and then he drives up there, and like there are lakes that aren't on the maps. Oh, wow. Like you go there, and it's like it just says that it's a little pond, but it's actually a massive lake. That's cool. And he's like, there's probably hasn't been humans here for like years. So he can just like go so to he, a lake. Yeah. No one knows about yeah. him. Just have a good yeah. time. Yeah, absolutely. That's sick. Right? And like it's that. out of city limits, so he can bring his guns. Nobody's going to bother him. Fucking right? A, he loves brother. His, he loves his guns. Yeah. He loves his freedom. Yes, Right? He does. And if you go out onto out of city limits and you're doing it responsibly, fucking A. That's awesome. Right? So anyways, uh, yeah. Uh, Xbox is actually fucking nuts. I don't even know where we got from that. Uh, Monday, 28th, a bunch of grifters. <laughs> yeah, Monday, March 28th. Uh, March 28th. That's, uh, yeah. So anyways, uh, let us uh, let me just bring something up. Okay, let's, this let's... last week, yeah. I went to a poetry night. Never do that, ever. <laughs> if it's a poetry slam, it's a different thing. Okay, I thought that's what it was. See, that's what I was told it was. It fucking wasn't. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> That's the issue. It wasn't even a poetry slam. It was a poetry uh, publication event. So people can just come up and read their shit? So this publisher okay. who's published books Is with these authors. You shit? No, she, Claire, she's published these books. Can't remember what their fucking name of the publication production and place is. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Um, they had our good friend of the pod. She's released a book with them years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it was during COVID. So she I have never, a book. she, yeah, right? She never got to actually perform. Sophia, we'll say her name. We've said her mm-hmm. name before. Um, she's never got to perform her book live in front of an actual audience because of COVID. Yeah. So it was nice for her to actually get her stuff up there. And she performed. She read her stuff. She read something new too, which was cool. Yeah. Um, very, it was a long form poem. All of this shit. Okay. And I'll, 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 now that I've said the nice things about Sophia, all of the stuff. From each poet, there was three of them, or four of them, sorry. Three of them actually did the show. Sophia just got to read her stuff. There was three people that kind of, you could tell they had planned some stuff. Yeah. Right? Uh, they had like a and a thing, <laughs> it, which they did the Qs and the As. It was stupid. Anyways, <laughs> it was kind of aggressive. Um, anyways. Um, <laughs> it's all dog shit. <laughs> they did the Qs and then they got to do the As. It was all dog shit. And for yeah. me, it's all over my fucking head. Yeah. I, I don't get it. I do not get like it. Like as in you didn't understand what was yeah. being kind of like and, read out? Yeah, and fuck me, Shakespeare, I kind of like Shakespeare. I'll say it. I like Shakespeare. It's kind of cool. And yeah. the lore of Shakespeare is fucking deep. If you go in, So like, can you call that poetry? No, it's kind of like New English. And, and right, and he kind of just like started New English and slang, right? Mm-hmm. Again, I like that kind of storytelling and poetry and if well, you they, can even call yeah. it that they make movies off that shit yeah it's just the stuff they were doing was just like Neh. uh the one guy michael or uh, they michael um they were performing this thing and it was kind of like a story i actually remember it, it grandma cooper's corpse it was memorable so you got me there right uh you got me there and, and it was good but it was like he was just reading a story to us yeah and the parts where everybody laughed to were, you know, um, story building, poetry, but story building, poetry, but story building. You can really keep along with it. You know what's going on totally. Easy words. Yeah. Goes to him. My grandma's dying. That shit's fucking crazy. Everybody laughs. 
And it's just Fuck. like the room's just it's it was so like forced and like yeah. because there was a swear word in it, it was edgy. Yeah. Right. Anyways, I don't need to break this down more than I already have. Um, it was just over my head and I don't get it. Poetry. There was one moment. There was one moment. Um, okay, side no- moment. The sh- seats that we were sitting on were f- so fucking uncomfortable. Were they just like wooden chairs? I, no, they were like not wooden chairs. They were like chairs that look comfy and aren't. <laughs> Those are the worst chairs. It's like the black ones that you'd get at like a banquet with the oh, padding yeah, yeah. on them. So you like think, oh, they're nice. Yeah. Right? Oh, they're good. Right? Because we were there to see one of the poets. There was nice chairs and shite chairs. Yellow chairs and black chairs. We sat in the black chairs. I thought they were going to be nice. Not. I had to get up and go to the bathroom and take a 15-minute walk just so that my ass could wake up. (laughs) My ass was numb. No, my ass was actually numb. And it was funny, too, because I was, like, kind of squirming a little bit. Like, I was trying to change my position, my arch. I was sitting up straight. And, like, okay, that hurts now. Got to scoot upwards. Okay, that's hurting now. Got to go downwards. Okay, that's hurting now. Right? I did all the different things with the chair. And it was, like, once an hour into this thing, once we were an hour into it, I started looking around. The girl next to me, she was like this on her side. And she's like the, fighting the fucking the pain. Girl over there. Everybody's feeling, ass bro. was hurting. I know that feeling. Right? These chairs are fucking comfy as fuck. Yeah, we fucking bought some good chairs. Yeah, I could sit in these chairs for hours, right? <laughs> My gaming chair is nice. I have a gaming chair. It's not even as nice as this fucking thing, I'll be honest. This one's like a $500 gaming chair. Yeah. Or office chair, whatever you want to. But, um, like... Anyways, fucking poetry. <laughs> there was a point during the Q&A where the one person asked the other person, what do you think that your masculinity does for your poetry? Do you think it helps or hinders? Hmm. Ask that question. And then dude, Cam, right? Dude, he's a dude. He's got kids and he's was one of the poet. He, there was two of them up there. They were married and they yeah. had kids, right? That's and uh, Right, it's a whole situation. And... Um, yeah, they were talking about dead fetuses and stuff. They've had some miscarriages. Both of them just had poetry about dead fetuses. It was okay. super uncomfortable and not yeah. fun to listen to. Um, <laughs> didn't went over my head again. Went over my head. <laughs> Anyways, there was a point. I'm really fucking stretching this out because of how outrageous what happened. He s- takes the mic and he says, "Well, as we all know, masculinity is super toxic and negative." And people, this is the first time people did this. Started, <laughs> yup. Ew. And they started snapping. Gross. And I remember at that point, misogynistic cunt I am. I'm like, oh my God, I want to just fucking, I want to just unleash rage. Yeah. And then I looked behind me. We were sitting at the front row. Okay. I didn't see the people who had came in. It's just the LGBTQ community. It's yeah. the worst kind of people that they all have Twitters and they all have their pronouns in their Twitter. Yeah. And I fucking hated it and i'm not saying i hate those people inherently because i know a lot of people like that and they're super fucking chill yeah they're super liberal they're super about their pronouns i call them they them i call them they and if i fuck up i'm like oh they you know like i'm not against your fucking life i don't think it should be hate crime if i misgender you that's a different situation exactly either way i just it, it was just like oh my god this is where i am at that point i wanted to stand up and walk out yeah just in uh, protest of what was going on there. Yeah. Because there was, it was a bunch of clapping. It was a lot of, right? Every time somebody was done a poet, poem, right? Every, there was good cheering, you know? Woo! Yeah. Right. But the second there was ne- masculinity is negative. Ew. We got the snaps, which <laughs> snapping is high respect. High respect. That's what you're supposed to do. I made jokes about it. I'm like, I can't wait to snap my fingers. Nobody snapped. They started clapping. And then when the masculinity thing came out, they started snapping their fucking fingers. Of course. Eh? Anyways, yeah, I'm never going back to one of those ever again. I think that they're toxic. Um, and the poetry like it, was shit. I don't understand poetry. I don't think anybody in the crowd did understand poetry. Uh, the other thing, too, is it's bullshit. You know, if uh, if I go to stand-up, I want people to tell me how shite I am. Yeah. You know, I still got the, yeah, you were okay the second time, right? I obviously didn't do great the second time when I went up. Um it would be nice if some, if you're, anyways, I'm not going to get into it. I'm not going to get into that part of things. Just be real with your friends. If they do shit, tell them. Yeah. You know, don't fucking sugarcoat it. And That's don't, a true friend. Yeah. And, and also don't fucking feed them crocs of bull. Yeah. You know? Oh, that was such a fun event. It wasn't. <laughs> I told Sophie, I said, that sucked. The two other girls we went there with were like, oh, no, it was, yeah, it was fun. It was, you know, yeah. 
Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Alyssa. I'll call you out. <laughs> you don't listen to the podcast. I'm just fucking starting fights. If I like, I like it. No, we already we already had we went out for drinks afterwards, and we had the fight when we went out for drinks. It's nice. Fine. Yeah. No, we, we we hands were thrown. Oh yeah, absolutely. You yeah, we were throwing down. The bitch ordered a fucking Moscow mule Ugh! in spite, and she's like, oh, "I love the copper." Fuck you. <laughs> this is the roommate. Maybe, I have fire against all those bitches. Maybe she listens. <laughs> I hope she fucking does. At me, Shine Lan. Whatever your name is. Fuck you. Oh, she was Jeremy's nice. first poetry session, and now it's his last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking went in there, and I'm now retired. <laughs> You're pretty good at that. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'm fucking great at it. Oh, man, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, yeah. I should probably have a sip of this, eh? You do a camera check. I think I just moved the cord a little bit. You're fine. Oh, and hey, y'all, guys. When you finish a hey, y'all, put her down. Yeah, and scream hey, y'all, you fucking idiot. You didn't even do it. Hey, y'all. I'm not going <laughs> to. Put it on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you did, that was so inefficient. Well, this is a nice studio. Yeah, whatever. We get oh, somebody right. to clean the carpet. You check it? No. I moved <laughs> it pretty good, I think. Oh, really? No, it's fine. You look great. Look at those fucking biceps. I hit them yesterday. I'm going to grab another one. Go for it, man. Dude, you're like... Wait, is that your first? Yeah. Oh, that was your pre-gamer. This is the uh, drinking paradox from York and Saskatchewan. <laughs> you're full of shit, hey? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of what I thought. All right, let's, let's do goals. Yeah, what, what was your goal from last week, Brett? My goal last week was <laughs> to um, record myself <laughs> playing uh, the song Something in the Way by Nirvana and post it. Right. I think I recorded that on Wednesday, but I okay. was like, I don't know. I, I hate hearing myself when I play music and sing, so I didn't really want to fucking, you know, post it just yet after recording it. So I waited a little bit, and I decided, fuck it. I'm just going to post what I have, and I think it's – I just got it up today. I like it. I like it. It sounds good. So it's good. It's not a bad place to start. Nope, so. it's not. You know, get it out there. You want me to do my uh, next week goal too? Yeah. Just pop yeah. it out. Pop it out. Um, I have this uh, another guitar one. I'm all about the guitar. Oh my god. Yeah, you love it. Um, this past week I just uh feel like I haven't been getting my guitar sessions in, the practice sessions. Right. Practice makes perfect, so practice perfectly. Practice makes permanent, so practice perfectly. That's the quote. Right, right, right. Yeah. Sorry. Pardon so uh I'm gonna do thirty minute guitar practice sessions every uh every day this week. Beautiful. Thirty minutes and a day. I'll, I'll record like I'll take pictures of shit. We gotta start posting more. Yeah, we do have to start posting stuff. more about our goals yeah. and having it in like even a if, spot. Where even if I make it. it like a highlight on uh, Instagram, we yeah, can post it whenever and we can just throw them on there. And just I think the it should be a highlight. Yeah, yeah, and then every day just have like a tag on the day, whatever. If it's it like is. a big goal, we can like post it as a normal post. Sure, because you know? I yeah. need shit to post. So for me, um, I'll try and do something. I don't know how I'll post it. I'm not gonna take a photo of it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna journal it every once a day. Yeah. So. I've I used to do bullet journals and it was nice, but it did become a chore, which like that's kind of the whole fucking point. Yeah. Keeps you uh, accountable about all the shit you want to be accountable. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just try and uh, journal more. So start with that. I'm gonna not touch my phone in the morning, so it'll be super easy to just do it in the morning. I think. Yeah. It'll it'll kind of be a dream journal to be honest to start, but uh, that's nice. yeah, I'm gonna just try and. Uh, Get into the uh, habit of writing a little bit more. I like that. You yeah. skipped uh, your last week. Yeah, pardon me. That's my no goal for this week. Yeah. Um, uh, I need to be punished because I jerked off. <laughs> no, and, you watched porn. And I watched like, porn. Wasn't it that you have to watch Yeah, porn? I watched porn is more. Which which kind of porn did you watch? Just the normal stuff. What did you watch? Stepsister. Yeah, of course. And a friend. Oh, and a friend came we'll over. always have a friend in there. If you're the going to watch porn, why have one girl when you can have two? Because the dad fucks the friend? No, it was her brother. Oh. Yeah. The brother fucked her too? Well, the stepbrother, Brett, please. They're stepbrothers. Step and uh, also, they're not. <laughs> 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 also, they aren't. <laughs> I like it. You know, sometimes it happens. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, so punish me. I deserve it. We have to do a punishment. We keep saying this every week. Yeah, I'm going to write this down. Yeah, we do have to do a punishment. Maybe you can make mine a double whammy or something on that day. I don't know. We'll figure it two, out. Yeah, you have two. I have one coming up. So I think you have two as well. I think you actually have like four or five, but it's fine. What? What? No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I have one. No, it's it's just not true, but it's fine. I'm not going to go back and Where fucking hold you. It. It's fine. You know what? The bunch of grifter heads will go back and they'll find it in the archives. I'll tell you what. You can fucking punish me once you get videos for TikTok, you fuck. 
Fair enough. <laughs> you want to call shots? I'm fucking firing back. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Maybe I do that. Hey. Yeah. Maybe that's um, your fucking punishment. I make you get all the fucking videos we need. <laughs> cheers. That's punishment number one. <laughs> When's my deadline? When's that punishment happening? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's say Tuesday. Yeah, if you can get me all those, I'll take I'll, one punishment. I'll get off. thirty. Yeah. Thirty videos by Tuesday. I need like as much as you can give me. Okay, I'm, as much as I can give you, minimum thirty. Yeah, this is your punishment. That's one punishment. It's your fucking job. <laughs> this is fucking stupid. How <laughs> about you shuck on it? On I don't camera. give a fuck. If it makes you do it. I'm gonna shake on it. Okay. I text this guy every week, <laughs> listeners of the pod. I'm like, so how are those videos coming along? He's like, dot dot. We dot. gotta we <laughs> we gotta go back to the drawing board on the videos. I think I, I gotta edit them a little bit differently. I think I need to do some face zooming. If you want to, like it's what we just, had was good. I know, but it's got to be more in, interactive for the fucking ADHD listeners out there. <laughs> they need to be able to see jump cuts every eighty percent of them seconds. haven't made it till now. No, I know, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, you gotta, you gotta have a cut every one point eight seconds. <laughs> if it's not, if it's less than one point eight seconds, the better. Yeah. Like, you get, so, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta, you gotta keep those eyes fucking focused. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So yeah. It's, it's going to be exciting. Um, Movie? Yeah, let's go. Mm-hmm. Guys, we watched The Wolverine. Yep, and it's, uh, unsurprisingly, five bags. It was five bags for me, too. Where, okay, this is one thing, random. Fuck, so good. Where the fuck was Magneto and Xavier? What do you mean? Where were they? At home. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, yeah, probably. Where? But, 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 but. They were getting together. <laughs> like, if you watch the cutscene, like, they, they just got back together. And Magneto got his powers back, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. I uh, but, uh, okay. Yeah. Different timeline, I think. Do they need I think we're from a different... I think this movie is a split into a new timeline. I would need, like, a piece of paper and it all drone out in front of me right now. Mm-hmm. I'm, like, so lost. I Yeah, I know. It makes sense. I think this is, like, a secondary timeline on the, the secondary <laughs> timeline. So it's, like, a third timeline on the timeline. Because what I got from this movie was... Now they go into days of future past, then they go back to the old days, and then fucked up shit happens. It's fucked up, man. There's no way. There's no way. Oh, 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 hey, guys. What's going on? Yeah, no worries. All good. No worries. Thanks, guys. Um, value. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> we just, uh, this is the kinsman. It was the janitor. Just yeah, there, I think there was somebody, uh, they, they didn't get told that we were going to be in the attic here. The, yeah. uh, I think that was the well, Zamboni driver, actually. Well, yeah, he does all the check on the AC and stuff. And yeah. He's just making sure it's running. Yeah, yeah, which is good. That's yeah. fine. That's Absolutely, fine. Absolutely, yeah. I was just making sure that we uh, weren't in the wrong spot at the wrong time. <laughs> 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 no, we're good. That was the first walk-in we've ever had. Well, I mean, like, the fucking blinds are good. Like, what the fuck? You don't see the blinds down? That should be, like, a fucking symbol. There's an on-air sign. <laughs> there's <laughs> literally an on-air we sign. We bring an on-air air sign in, with us. No, when we're in here, there's a sensor in here, and it says that we're fucking recording. <laughs> there's an on-air sign. We should get a free session for that. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, <laughs> that was fucking. Wait, sick. that's our first live audience. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I guess the baristas were. Anyways, big fans. Yeah, big fans. Uh, what were I even talking about? <laughs> movies of five bags. Five bags. Um, I'm so fucking ready to be done with these stupid movies. I'm so done. I mean, Mystique has already been gone. Like Jennifer Lawrence. The fact that we get no more Jennifer Lawrence is insane. Uh, I feel like she's completely misutilized in the fucking franchise. Well, these are older movies. She wasn't even around yet. I know. I know. That's what I'm saying. We've already gotten past the fucking Lawrence shit. Yep. She wasn't even used. <laughs> like, the whole Professor X thing is completely unused. His, his like, child part, like the young Xavier, I feel like there's so much more. There's so much more we need. <laughs> yeah, there like, is. Like, where the fuck is the rest of the movies? <laughs> do we want more of them? What? Well, yes! <laughs> you did, sounds like you don't. They needed to do them already. They're fu- <laughs> they already fucked it up. They already made the wrong ones. First. <laughs> it's like this whole, it's like, it's, it's weird. Like it's like they're really good at doing that. <laughs> it's like Star Wars. It's, it's kind of, uh, this is like a reverse Star Wars for me. I feel like the first three movies good. sucked major donkey dicks <laughs> and then the new three movies that they did that are kind of like oh fuck it over the place yeah. are amazing yeah they are good <laughs> stressed dude it's so stressful like what <laughs> what i do where um, was kevin feig i love that um <laughs> i love that at the beginning of the wolverine with like the bomb Hiroshima. Yeah. that was yeah. sick well yeah and then he fucking 
Yeah, he saves this guy, and then, then later on in life, this guy tries to fucking kill him. Do you know how disrespectful it is to not kill yourself once you go on your knees? He didn't kill himself with his own sword. Fuck you. No, Wolver Wolverine stopped him. Yeah, I know. Why? He's like, hey, I'm going to save you. Why? He's not a good person. Yeah, that was weird, eh? No, no, no. That guy was uh, letting out all the, the, the slaves and stuff, and he saw that. He saw there was a good person in him. He released all, like, the Oh, well, there prisoners. obviously wasn't. Not that the prisoners were really going to escape and survive, but... Yeah, what do you... Run! Run! Boom, Run! Fucking nuke goes off. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sick shot, though. That was a sick that shot. That was probably one of the coolest shots The sound system seen. was cool, too. Oh, that house rattled. I wish we could use your fucking uh, sound system more often. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> it's a great sound system. It's fucking it's badass. It's too good. You guys have to unplug the fucking subwoofer. It's like the fucking house is almost going to fall down. It does. I think it is. <laughs> it starts like... You're starting a mudslide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like liquefaction. Yeah. It's going to... Yeah. Down to the roots. Down to the rock, and then she falls down. <laughs> It'd be a good story. Yeah. My head... My Just call my mom up. <laughs> hey, yeah, so... uh, in We moved. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the, <laughs> the house... <laughs> she fucking. She's you, gone. You remember the neighbors up the hill? Good news, we're further away from them. <laughs> <laughs> Just go pick that subroof for the better place and make their house shake down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, this is we're, we're moving to Victoria. Yeah. Right. And there's a high possibility that we get a one bathroom. And I was thinking about this. There is etiquette. If you live in a one bathroom, there's etiquette. If you're taking a shower and I come home from an eight-hour shift and I need a shit, <laughs> that door better be unlocked. That door better be unlocked because if it isn't, <laughs> I'm kicking it down and you're paying for the damages. It's coming out of your damage deposit if you're in the shower. Because if not, I'll shit on your pillow. That's kind of rude. That would be really rude. I'll put a garbage bag down first. Why don't you just shit in a pail, you sick fuck? No, again, see, this will never come to that. Why don't you just shit in the fucking garden and Maybe we up? do get, like, a emergency shitter. Why don't you, like a porta pot like Yeah. A, like a little porta Yeah. <laughs> we could just put it in the corner, and it's, or, like, it's or, got a single bag use, and we, like, shh. Or a little kid potty. Huck it over the fence. A little kid potty. Well, yeah, but, but, like, but built for, like, humans. You yeah, know. Yeah. Built for kids. Not not built for kids. Built for adults. Yeah. You know. that They probably exist. <laughs> like a camping Maybe we build our own outhouse. Yeah, that'd be fun. That would be fun. Dig a hole. We have to go line. out into like torrential downpour. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a storm that comes through and rips the party potty. There's just <laughs> shit <laughs> flinging all over the place. I, last, I think the Jackass uh, 3 scene where they shoot the porta potty up with Steve in it. He goes up. He's coming down. All the shit comes up. I, I know that it was promotional stuff. I haven't seen the new Jackass. There's I haven't seen it either. Yeah. I want to, though. We should go see We should see it or something. We should try to. We gotta go watch Morbius first uh, next week. Yeah, we do. That's why we should get the tickets for that. Yeah, we should. I think yeah. it's like maybe Thursday it comes out, I think. Yeah, absolutely. That'll be super exciting. I can't wait for that movie. Yeah, fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> it got pushed back. So fun. Well, yeah, because they made too much money. Oh, Spider Man? Yeah. They're like, ah, oh, we could push it back a little bit. We got a bit more in our budget yeah, than we thought. Now want to see this one. You know, it's yeah, like, now yeah. people are like, fuck. They're f I'm foaming at the mouth. Yeah. I want to see some vampiric, <laughs> right? I want a real Batman. And Jake Gyllenhaal's great. I mean, we yeah, got, we, we got to say he's great. I mean, the fact that he played Mysterio already, it's just like, what are we doing? That's not Jake Gyllenhaal, is it? Is it not? No. What? Dude, no. It's Wait, not. are those two different people? Jake Gyllenhaal? Is it Gyllenhaal? Gyllenhaal. Gyllenhaal? It's someone else playing Morbius. No, it's not. Well, let's do a Google. We got this fucking computer beside it's, us. It's definitely isn't. It, Jake after, Gyllenhaal. After we check this, we got to do our prediction for Logan. Which is the next movie we're watching, you guys. Okay, well, I mean, do we even need to make a prediction? I, I haven't seen it, but I haven't seen it, but it's the only reason I'm watching these fucking movies. My prediction is going to be the best one. It is the best one. We know this. Dude, that's D not Jake Gill Gillinghall, man. Jared Leto, you fuckhead. Oh. But it's got the hawk guy. I do get those guys mixed up. It's got Loki's the hawk guy. It? No, but it's got Michael Keaton, the guy who, who Yo, plays I uh, totally the Vulture. Get, I totally get Jared Leto and Jake Gyllenhaal mixed up all the fucking time. How oh, they don't even look that similar. They do look super similar. No. No, they, they really don't. Um, That's crazy. It's Jake. It's 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 uh, a <laughs> Jared, Jared Leto. I already forgot. Jared Leto. What huh. other movies has he been in? He's a good actor. Look his name there. He's in a lot of shit. He's, he's got a big name. No, he's actually a really good actor. Uh, Do we go to IMDb for these? Yeah. Yeah. 
or like his top movies? He's fucking sexy. He must slay. Yeah, he's probably got some stupid wife. What do we got Joker, here? Joker, Dark Gucci, Dark Paradise, uh, House, of, House of Gucci. I can't fucking see this. <laughs> oh, the Joker and Zack Snyder's. Yeah, he was the Joker. Yeah, yeah, Jer- yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, he's sketched out. I keep thinking the janitor's gonna come in here. Uh, somebody's coming in, but I think he's just looking for a broom. Um, Fight Club. Was he in Fight Club? Really? It says he was. Oh, look at that. He was. Uh, oh, he's Basil and Basil. 97. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is 98 shit. The thin red line. Okay, anyways, enough with Jared Leto. Fuck this guy. I'm excited to see it. Yeah. I'm excited to see that movie. Um, Yeah, Mobius, or uh, sorry. Uh, Morbius. Morbius, not Morbius. Uh, The Wolverine. Logan? Five bags. Five bags? Yeah, five Logan's going to be great. I can't wait. I think, five, I think Logan's already going to get five bags. Yeah. Yeah. No, it will. Yeah, like it has to. It, it, it already has in my head. I've been told it's the best. Isn't it Christopher Nolan that does Logan? Who does who does Nolan? Isn't it like really good? Who does Logan? Yeah, who directs Logan? Let's find out. I don't know my directors enough to like ever fucking spit something out. James Mangold. Interesting. Hugh Jackman was a part of it, apparently. Yeah. What's he do? Wolverine. Oh, right. <laughs> Can you imagine? Have you seen Hugh Jackman's wife? No. What's she look like? Old as fuck. Was not she? attractive. It's so was crazy. He, no. He's such a wife? No, I don't want to show you. Why not? Because it's just kind of embarrassing. Why not? Because he fell in Isn't love with this girl. Old? Well, yeah, but he's... 53. He's so hot. Why does he take steroids? Yeah, well, but that's okay. The first one to pop up. Dude, I thought that was Hillary Clinton at first glance. Yeah, that's his wife. She just looks old, man. And like this is when she was like younger. I got I don't know. Man. Look at that one. Yeah, I know. That's a side good photo. Side comparison. That's a good photo. Uh, again, like I don't know. Maybe she's cute. Maybe she's cute when she was younger. Yeah, actually she does look cute. She just didn't age well. Maybe that's what it is. But I mean, oh, who man. does when you're that rich, right? Like you just eat fucking buttered lobster every day, and yeah. steak, wagyu, <laughs> all of it. You're just Oddly rich. enough, the odd night where you don't eat actually helps, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yep. Maybe the gym too. I got a little bit of scarring here, hey? See that? Just from like the shave? I think so. Yeah, my neck. Not sure what's going out. on. I I, th- I got to exfoliate a little bit better. My I ran out of exfoliation, so that's why mine's fucking all over the place. Yeah, it happens. Should it we happens. get into camping? Yeah, let's do it. This is uh, Brett's theme of the podcast, or so so to speak. Yeah. Um. What 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 do you got? What do you got for us here? Like you I just want to go on a little bit of right off the bat. Yeah. You're gonna go camping. Okay. You're taking you and yourself. That's it. You're allowed to take five things. Oh, right. What are you going to take? Okay, so can we talk about this a little bit? Because this yeah. is, like, what what are we considering five things? Because food. Is that a thing, or is food sure. not that's a thing? A, that's a thing. Right, because if it's not food, I'd just take, like, fucking a pound and a half of Swiss farmer's sausage. Yeah, let's go. Let's get specific. Let's okay. do that. pound and a half of Swiss farmer's sausage Okay. for my food. Enough Swiss farmers. How many days am I going out? Let's say Three two days? weeks. Two weeks. Dude, two weeks? Yeah. Oh. Okay, never mind. For food, I'm taking um a massive bag of fucking lentils. <laughs> lentils are very high in protein and they're actually very high in fiber too. They're super tiny to carry and when you put water in them, they fucking expand. So yeah. they're super filling. They're a great in case of emergency food. You yeah. can survive on lentils for 2 weeks. Okay, I have, that's a good first one. Uh lentils. What's your second one? My second one, unsurprisingly, fuck, I think would have to be a hatchet. Can I give you an idea of where you're going camping, maybe? Yeah. Okay, you're going up into, like, the northern wilderness of BC in, like, the summer, let's say. So it's nice out. Yeah. Okay. So I'd bring a hatchet. Hatchet? Yeah. So you can do lots of that. You, you can, can do a lot stuff. with stuff. You can cut wood with that. Yeah. I would bring a fishing rod. Okay. So that's three things. Lentils, hatchet, fishing rod. The tent is... The tent's smart. like, But it's not necessary. It's so not necessary, actually. Yeah, you probably just build something. Yeah. Hmm. 
How cold does it get at night? Um, let's say maybe it lingers around zero. Like it probably hits like zero to five in that range. Zero to five Celsius. Okay. Yeah. You could deal with a fire. That'd be so fine. You could do a fire. You could survive that. I'm just thinking like, and you have the clothes on your back, obviously too. Mm-hmm. Right. You have like a jacket on maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. You're just wear, like, you're just going out with like a casual set of clothes. Okay. Like obviously like runners and stuff. Like you're not yeah. going out like with fucking. But you don't have like a mech jacket on that could double as a. So sure, you can have like a jacket. On. Okay, a jacket, and like I don't know, some, you know, cargo pants. Yeah, yeah, like somewhat heavier. Okay, um, yeah, I would probably then do. Oh fuck, man, this is touchy. Ah, oh, fuck it, sleeping bag. Sleeping bag, that's yeah. a good one. It just takes out the stress. That bullshit. And last one. Last one. I mean, at this point, it's just sanity. Um, It's got to be Flint. Flint? Yeah. Start fires and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good one. I could survive with that. A knife, food, fishing rod to get more food, (laughs) fishing bag and Flint. Yeah. That's solid. I think that's a really good list of five things. That's good. Yeah. I'm happy. Fishing rod. Mm. You don't think so? I think that could definitely be subbed out for something that could be a bit more beneficial. Dude, if you're next if you're in the wilderness, there's so much fish. It's so easy to catch fish. Then you're eating. Okay. And you have a fire so you can cook it. Yeah. Uh you have you have uh the water thing. Oh fuck, I didn't think about water. Ooh. The water purifier. Yeah, actually none of this I mean you could try and make some kind of uh, water. I think I forgot water. Yeah, I mean, up in the north, up in the north, two weeks, I'd drink the water. I'd drink lake water. You'd do it? 100%. What if you got sick? Survivor Man said it's a mind over matter thing. If you drink a little bit of the water every time you go on a hike, it makes your immune system so much better, too. Okay. It's good to do. It's really good to drink a little bit of creek water. Um. Because creek water, because it's running. Yeah. But also, um, if you do lake water, the top of the water is typically good. Yeah. It's the bottom that's shit. Oh, yeah. The good water is at the top. All the sediment drops to the bottom. Yeah. Right? You don't want to, like, do a swamp or, like, you know, Mm -hmm. stagnant, like, fully stagnant pond. Like, I'm not saying do that. But there's creeks all over the place. There's creeks all over the place in BC. Yeah. There's no way you wouldn't find a creek. Yeah. You'd find something for sure. Right, and it would be totally be drinkable. Okay, yeah, I'm fine. That's solid. That's solid. Can we try this now? <laughs> Not two weeks. I do two days. Give me yeah. a GoPro. Let's do it. <laughs> just watch you fucking out there. Just try to survive. I've always wanted to do it, but I think I would always have a real Ooh. issue with the mental game of night. That could be the name of the show. Try to survive. Bunch of grifters production. I'd do it with you. Oh, I'd go out there with you? Yeah. Yeah. I'd do it with you. I wouldn't want to do it alone. I'd be too you scared need me to night. fight the bears, probably. No, that's no bears are way more scared of us than they are of them. I'll still fight We're that loud. Fucker. We're I'll loud. Fight that fucker. Yeah, well, but yeah, absolutely. I'll distract it and then you come in behind and just fucking. I'll tell you one eyes. thing though, those fucking cougars, those things scare the fuck out of me. Yeah, the cougars would be scary, but they don't go where the fire is. They're scared of fire. We'd have a fire the whole night. Yeah. Like I would make a log log feeder. I've always uh, wanted to make a log. A Have you feeder, seen those? A feeder log? No, not a feeder log, a log feeder. Have you seen those? No. You take two sticks, right? Bop, bop, spread out more, right? And then another two sticks on a slant. And then you have a fire and you put this, you put like big logs kind of on a slant. And then the fire will burn that one log. And then as it, it collapses in, another log will roll in. Oh, yeah. Another log will roll in. And you have to make it, there's a way to do it so that the fire goes the right way so it doesn't burn up the logs. Because yeah. if it burns up the logs, then you're going to have a massive fire and it's a big issue. Yeah. Um, they're really fucking cool, though. <laughs> I've seen some YouTube videos on it. I've always wanted to do it. I love feeder logs. Reminds me of the feeder log. Yeah, feeder logs are great. Because if you make a little fire, you get a nice <laughs> bed of coals, and then you take two fucking, or three sticks from four different angles, or three different angles, you just keep fucking tossing them in like yeah. a little pile. Going around the circle. That's badass. And it works so well. I love that shit. You can burn such big pieces of wood. Yeah, Brett was working today. Yeah, right. He just flew out. Right from, Yorkton. The, right from the mill. Right from the mill onto the plane and into Yorkton. Yep. We had to get a little private charter out here. 
Yeah. Small airport. Yeah. Very small airport. You have to call in actually before yeah. you land. Well, because nobody's there, they have to come and fucking dust it off. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking town insane. Of, town of 20,000 people. I'm surprised there's not a little fucking airport. Is there actually an airport there? No. no. There isn't? There's no airport here. Really? There is. But it's small. It's not like a commercial one. Well, the one in Whitehorse is pretty small too. But like you can like fly to Whitehorse. You can't fly to York. You can fly to Whitehorse. Yeah, you absolutely. Can't, you can't do that here. You have to like special request. You have flight. to fly to Regina and then you drive to Yorkton. Right. Such a hassle. That is a hassle. Not yeah. if you have the money though. Then you can just fucking fly. Then you have to rent a car. Yeah, I'm thinking I might rent a car for a month or two while I'm in uh, Victoria. Yeah. I was thinking of renting like a little Civic. You can rent like 2013 Civics for like two hundred dollars a month. Oh, yeah. It's like. Okay, pay for insurance for the month, so it's more expensive because you're paying for, like, one month's insurance, but whatever, you know. Mm-hmm. Better to have it than not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> um, man, I'd love to have our own studio so we could smoke in here. I know, I'm excited. Imagine we're smoking cigars. I'd love to smoke a cigar right That'd now. So I don't know fun. why. I don't know. Well, it's soon. Soon. Yeah, we don't have the ventilation on yet. It's malfunctioning. Yeah, we're on our way. We got the batteries changed on the Honeywell. <laughs> Is it now? I don't know. Maybe try and turn it down a little bit. It's getting hot in here, eh? Get it to 19 if you can. Maybe 16 if it goes that low. Well, that's not the button, Brett. He's just pressing on and off. Wait, it, oh, it is the button. <laughs> no, you have to press plus to go down. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Stays at 100. Yeah, we're, we're fully cooking in here. Bread is fully dicking. She's them. fucked. Yeah. Oh, I shouldn't put that in. Camera check. What would your five things be? Or was uh, this more of a question for me? Because you had a lot I can, of them. I can answer too. Mine would be pretty simple. What if I switched out lentils with beef jerky? It's just like you don't need it. If you can find your own fish, you don't need it. The I'm lentils not going are... fishing, though. I won't be fishing. I don't know if you can... Sur- yeah. You totally could. Two weeks, totally. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to rock beef jerky. Okay. I have a big bag that'll last yeah. me that long. Fuck yeah. I like the hatch idea. I was thinking like I want like a nice smaller hatchet though. Yeah. I, was, I was thinking like maybe a knife, but Usable. a hatchet would be a really good idea. Because um, you can still use it as a knife. Fuck your fishing rod and fuck your lake drinking shit. I'm bringing a filtered water bottle. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because I don't want to get sick on my two weeks here and just struggle. You wouldn't feel the effects. That's the thing. You don't feel the... Yeah. If you survive the two weeks, you won't feel the effects of having some bug in you in your water. For like two months, and by the time you're there, you will already have antibiotics. You're fine. Like I've, uh, this is what Survivor Man has said. He said, "Take it to do, to use this information at your own risk." But he's never fucking gotten sick from drinking like water. Fair enough. So, and he said, "People call me crazy. Fuck you." Yeah, I'm just, I'm still gonna rock the uh, yep. filtered water. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fuck, a good one. Like a fuck. life straw type type situation, so you can drink whatever water you want. Fuck nature, boy. Whatever the fuck his name was. Survivor man. No, I'll okay. do a Les, Les Stroud is his name. I was doing it. I'd love to get Les Stroud on the pod. I was thinking with the flint, what if you just did a lighter? Sure. You have a fatchet. I'll do a lighter. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's a uh, fi- means of fire, I guess. Yeah. Sure. That makes and then, sense. um, flint's yeah. more cool. And if a lighter gets wet, it doesn't work. Yeah, maybe the flint's a better idea. It is. It's more survival proof. You have the hatchet. You have nothing. We have nothing to like. Okay, fuck. Actually, get rid of my filtered water bottle. Why? What are you worried about? I'm just thinking about getting wet. Dude, you make a shelter in the woods. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You see, you can make a lean to. I'm keeping my my filtered water bottle. You know how easy it is to make a shelter and then sleeping bag. Yeah, pretty similar. So I'm just switching up the food because and the fishing rod. How many sticks do you really need to make a fucking seven foot? long lean to not that many it takes like fucking 30 minutes i've seen people do it on youtube lay a bunch of leaves on top yeah well that part takes a while but you take your hatchet and you fucking take a bunch of you know Mm -hmm. you get like a good 40 50 100 i don't actually know how much it takes right and you weave them in and all that (laughs) dude i'd love to do it i'd love to do it make a mattress we can practice at my house we could well not if they keep fucking taking the trees down (laughs) (laughs) those fucks those fuckers (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> How dare they? But yeah, we could. We could actually. But there's, uh, again, your forest is a cleaned forest. Your forest floor is like not that bad. Yeah. 
I mean, it's not like you guys have went in there and raked it any time recently, but there's not a lot of branches and sticks just lying around. No. Really? Really? Nothing like out in the in It's the out north. overgrown and fucking untouched out there, right? Mm. And there's just a plethora of supplies for you to make a fucking mansion out there. Bam, forest fire happens. What do you do? Well, no, no, no. No, no, no. No? Wait, well, forest fire happens... On your little two-week hiatus. Because of us? Because we did it? Yeah. No. We run. No. We run away. You don't run. You can't run. Also, you don't make a forest fire out in the woods. That's ridiculous. You should never be in a situation where you can set your fire up to fail. Some people do. You don't. Dude, people we do. Have a, we have a hatchet. We can make a little... We can dig a little hole with the other side of it. I'm just saying shit happens, man. Yeah, I know. And if we were going in together and we both brought five items, that would mean we have ten items. So you could bring a spade. Mm. I could bring a hatchet. I didn't think of that. I think this question was more separately. It, it was uh, it, no, no, no. I know. No. If we're going in together, you bring those. If we're I going in together, bring I'm bringing a satellite phone <laughs> and a fucking charger. I'm bringing my Sudoku book. I'm bringing a pencil, pen, paper. I'm bringing a map. <laughs> like Ooh, a map. Yeah, that'd be smart. Well, if we go out and we're planning it, yeah, absolutely. But I'll use the satellite phone too, and I'll and I'll put it in. I'll update the satellite. I already have one. Like a GPS. Yeah, GPS tracker. It's not even satellite phone, but it can it can SOS if you need to. And then uh, the search and rescue can they see the SOS signal. Here, one one. Your thing. phones have that in it too. If you do an SOS on your phone, it acts as if it's a GPS thing. One thing I wanted to talk to you about was yeah. um, when we went on our COVID camping trip, mm-hmm. our buddy's stinky tent. I want you to explain this. <laughs> So we went camping this two is like years COVID ago. COVID summer. 2020, this is right when right? COVID like hit. And like we went into this weird like little it was a nice spot on a creek, right? Our our uh plot was infested with fleas. We <laughs> figured that out after we left. Do you have a bunch of little bites too on your legs? Nope. Yeah. No? No. You sure? Nope. The red dots? Well, I'm from this place. Yeah, true. I was fucking covered in them. Um everybody else was. I thought you did too. Anyways. Irrelevant. Uh, we set up our tents. Some people showed up a little later um, than others. We had Diego there, which is uh, our buddy, producer Dan's uh, uh, camper van. Mm-hmm. Motorhome, I should say. It's a proper motorhome. Beauty. 1980 Chevy. Stinks like piss. It's fucking disgusting. <laughs> I can only imagine how many people have died in there. Like They're so pumped to go and travel in it. And I'm just like, yeah. He's like, yeah, we're just dealing with the mold and the new bin. And the bin. And I'm like, I'll sleep in the tent outside. Yeah. I don't want to sleep in that thing. Yeah, I don't either. It doesn't fucking bother me to say that. Mm-hmm. I get weird out where I sleep. I have to sleep somewhere where I'm comfortable. Yeah, it's very important. I had a traumatic traumatic event when I went camping, actually, uh, at Silver Lake, and I remember a mouse ran over me while I was sleeping. <laughs> I will never forget that night. I freaked the fuck out. And thankfully, I somehow went back to bed that night, but I don't remember sleeping for the rest of the week. Yeah. It was dramatic. I hate sleeping out in cabins. They're so fucking disgusting, especially camp cabins. It's just like, it smells gross in there. It smells like, anyways. Yeah. I hate them. It's gross. It is disgusting. I love camping, though. I love camping in wilderness, yeah. you know? Um, and when my motorhome doesn't have mold in it. Uh, my family, we had an RV. It was stupid. <laughs> uh, we set up tents while we were together. We all had tents, right? And there was this one guy and uh, our, our one other buddy. He had a, like, it's like a three-person tent, which is really a fucking one-person tent. Yeah. It's not meant for more than one person. But you could squish three people in there and you'd be covered from the rain, right? Yeah. Um, that's how they fucking do that shit with the tent numbering. And uh, anyways, he and this other person, which is like one and a half humans, <laughs> fit in this tent. And when I tell you that this fucking tent smelt like a fermentation of a fucking sour potato batch, I'm not kidding. Like, it, it was, was bad. It was literally like a 30-year-old dressing room, hockey dressing room that's never been changed. Oh, uh, so gross. It was fucking disgusting. Like... You got 10 feet next to it, and you could feel the <laughs> warmth. The warmth that came off of it was the worst part. I remember he was like, it was like steaming when they opened the fucking thing. It was, was there was like, like pressure building up in there. He was like, buddy, what the fuck did you do to my tent? <laughs> Honestly, I don't understand. Yeah. Like, he must have had like a blanket, a pillow, 
and a sleeping bag and, and like sweat all the was alcohol out. sweating oh yeah and he was like a fucking casper with he took a toke and he almost died a toke and he turned like super yeah. white it's well, like casper the friendly ghost you don't come and touch my weed if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> you gotta be careful with me <laughs> i'm a heavyweight i'm a heavyweight i'm like yo give me a toke give me a toke i'm like are you sure yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay casper this is a quad <laughs> this is a quad white widow yeah 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 Literally, <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> I also don't think he f- remembered to drink water. For all those youngs, youngins listening, when you're drinking, have a drink, have a glass of water. Even if it's not the full glass, have a gulp of water. Two, of water. two good gulps. Yeah. If not, three or four. Like It's so beneficial for you. And maybe a couple of B12s when you're done your night. Yep. That's I'm going we'll to pop one or two of those yeah. tonight. It, your piss will be neon yellow, but you'll feel great. Well, it gets you out of you. Yep. It gets the toxins out of you. Puts your liver into hyperdrive. Yeah. Really. Um, but yeah, uh, camping with that guy. Brett was in our tent the one night because <laughs> his buddy didn't show up. <laughs> for the first night. For the first night. So he was uh, he was sleeping at our feet. You were <laughs> next to us. You weren't at our feet, were you? Yeah, I was on your feet. I was, was the, just, I was, I was just tent. fucking kicking you the whole night, cracking my toes on you. Yeah, no, I don't think <laughs> no, I wasn't. Um, it, it was it was roomy enough. Yeah. in that tent. Sure. Um, <laughs> was it delay? Yeah, yeah. Delay and I had the queen mattress. Yeah. We tent. We camp properly. Mm-hmm. D- he was supposed to bring his fucking ten person tent. He brought his brought his four person one. Yeah. Anyways, I have a four person tent. It's massive. It's more than enough. I'd love to go camping without a fucking tent. Yeah. Yeah. Like I like, go build a lean to. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Also, going camping though, and just having a spot on the side of the road with your with your truck, you yeah. know, and you just set up, you have a fire, you fucking shoot the shit, eat some wieners, eat some wieners, have some shrooms. Those are fucking really nice nights. Those are great nights. All right, we should try and go to another rave. Yeah, I'd love to go to another rave and pop some acid. I want you, I, I need to get you high as fuck on shrooms. <laughs> you deserve it. I want to try it. Yeah. No, it's really good for you, especially if you have a good attitude going into it, right? Yeah. There's some people who are like, oh, it's scary. Like, no, I've had friends who like say it's bad. And like, it's like, yeah, well, yeah, because that's your thoughts going into mm-hmm. it. You have to be in good I spirits. Think I've been offered a lot of times. I'm just like, even not in just good like, spirits. I'm just even where I'm at in life. I'm just like, uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't yeah. want to do it. We should have got you shrooms that one night, but yeah, well, buddy, buddy, fucking ate them all. <laughs> he didn't have that. <coughs> he didn't have that many. Oh fuck. Okay, quick, quick, quick question. <coughs> I already what? answered it. I was gonna say RV or tent, but I guess you'll just go with nothing. No, uh, it's it's RV. Okay. Oh yeah, hundred percent RV. Of course. If if I can be given the option. Yeah. Oh yeah, I love glam glamping. Glamping is the best. Like, I, I would love to be the fucking dad that has a bug net around the table, and I have my own heater, and I have a bug zapper that I set up, and I have a fake green carpet. Is that even camping at that point? It isn't, but it's fun experiences for the kids, because yeah. they get to go and fuck around in the woods. I get to smoke cigars and smoke weed and chill. Like, it's fun. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think that's fun. I get to drink and smoke with my buddies. You'll be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, do I get to go and sleep in a bed with fucking silk sheets? Yeah, I do. But fuck you. I, I don't know. It's like <laughs> we're still out in the wilderness. We still went on a hike. We still went tubing. We still, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. one of us has a boat or something. We rent a boat at the yeah. lake. Um, If you're out having fun roasting wieners by a campfire, you're camping. Yeah. I think that. The fact that people will allow to go camping without a fire because there's fire bans, I think it's atrocious. I think it's honestly one of the biggest issues with our freedoms in Canada. And, I, and I'm actually genuine about this. There should be a license to be able to have a fire. You should be able to have a fire during a fire ban if you're doing it legally. And safely. And safely. Yeah. Because the fucking rea- reality is that having a nice fire is so much better during the summer. Yeah. You can sit out at night and you can sit there with the fire. You're not just sitting next to it to stay warm. You're sitting there to enjoy it. And you're high on shrooms and it's light out longer. Like it's just fucking atrocious that they put fire bands in BC. Majority of the like it's just so stupid too, because majority of the fires are from like just people flicking their cigarettes out the fucking I window. know. I know. It's or, not even or lightning caused. Like it's... Again, again, I understand that like we don't want to be having unnecessary fires and recreational is somewhat unnecessary. It's not. It's fun. Mm-hmm. And if you're doing it, abiding the law, and a firefighter comes over and they're like, what's going on here? It's like, we're having a fire. 
I don't think that they would actively be like, there's a fire ban going on. What are you doing? Right? It's like we got two four liter, like we have two milk cartons of water. Yeah. We're not leaving it unattended. We're good. Yeah. Right? Look around. There's rocks. There's dirt. We dug a hole. Like if you dig a hole and you have a three foot radius, you're good. Yeah, I get the fucking ashes can go. And uh, if you're watching the fire, you're good. Yeah. Anyways. I know I'll get backlash for that, but that's fine. I hate that we are banned on having fires. Like, you know, it's just, it is stop it is. having the pallet fires and just have a tiny teeny. <laughs> a tiny teeny. <laughs> All right. I know we're getting to the end of this here, but uh, I wanted to uh, go over my game show with you. Yeah, I love this. You like this? Yeah, please do. I'm going to, and you, I, we're going to pitch this to the audience, actually, because you're going you're gonna to dive in. You're going to love this idea, and you're going to share some stuff that I think you would like to add to it. Okay. You guys, Jeremy and I are going to create the Bunch of Grifters Productions' first relationship reality TV show. Yeah, it's going to be a reality TV show. Yeah. Yeah. We're so, going to host it. Yeah. The show will be, Carl, will be called RV or Leave. <laughs> We're working on the name. The name <laughs> yeah, the name might, might have to go. We'll see. Because like, there's got to be something to do with love. Okay. Love is thing. blind. Too hot so to handle. Gonna, okay, stop. Where you are? Okay, sorry. Okay, so um, <laughs> first thing, the, fir- the way this show starts up, it's going to be uh, blind dates like love is blind. Okay. So you're going to be stuck in these little RVs. And you have like these little telephone calls with all the other RVs, and you go. So you're like talking to these people, right? <laughs> Wait, you have your own RV? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You have your own RV, and you don't get to see anyone else, but you talk to them. <laughs> kind of like Love Is Blind, right through the wall. Okay. So then eventually, you'll find out who this person who you'll want to like go camping with for a week. <gasps> oh my god, I don't want to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so after the first like. Couple of days of getting the meet all the contestants, so the girls and the boys get to talk to each other. Yeah. Eventually, you got to pick the one that you want to be with for the week of, that you're going to go camping together. Okay. <laughs> because I believe camping with someone shows true love. Yes. <laughs> Once you get to know them. <laughs> exactly. So you're going to get to know this other person camping. You can get to sleep in the same tent with each other, do whatever the fuck you want. But then. Right, you gotta like do all these experiences and stuff together, and you find out: Do I really like this person, or do I want to fucking kill this person? Right. So you can get in the RV, or you can leave. Yeah. But if you get in the RV, then you leave. The so name like... is in the works. Okay. <laughs> RV and leave, though. Yeah. RV and leave, maybe. RV and leave. Um. Yeah. R- yeah. Okay. Names. Names Anyhow, in the works. <laughs> so this is the other. This is the very important thing about this show that I think is huge. Okay. Yeah. So um. There'll be these tribal nights where all the couples get to meet up, and then you can see the other people that you're like, "Oh fuck, I was talking the uh, the Jimmy." Oh, you guys want to make so a trade? Hot. <laughs> yeah. Then things happen. Conflict arises. This is a very extreme show. <laughs> right. This will all be scripted, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, yeah. So after you get to meet the other contestants, there'll be like challenges. It'll kind of be like Survivor. <laughs> And then um you'll so Survivor Love is Blind. Yeah. There's challenges. There's challenges. Big Brother. Yeah. Jersey Shore. Do they get to get drunk with each other and go out? Oh, you're drinking. <laughs> so then, eventually, at the end of the show, you find <laughs> out. You'll, you, eventually, you find your person, or you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And it's great. I could. It could work. You I... could just book a a campsite for three weeks and film this. How many RVs are we going to need? And how many people do you think would actually get past the blind part? I don't think many people would get past the blind part. It's just a couple days. Although it's all scripted, too. So so everyone has their own campsites and their RVs, and then you move over to the next campsite at which you spend some time with the other person. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. And is it, this is glamping, right? We're going to make it, like, super nice and stuff. Oh, yeah, There'll yeah, be, like, like, candles and chairs, and it'll be, like, people, scenes. These and... people need, like, shit. Yeah, because it's going to be, like, the worst they can't, kind of people. They can't do, like, the five things. No, like, no, They no. need, like, a hundred things. Okay, I didn't realize you wanted to do this, like, a proper production. I yeah. thought you were wanting to do it kind of like a one-on-one. You're going to do it, then I'm going to do it. No, we're no, try and we're going to fucking run. Oh, okay. This is the new show I th- you and I are going to make. I thought it was going to be, I thought we were getting into porn. I thought we were going to just have sex with people in RVs. Well, we could do that. We could also get into that avenue. Like the maybe ones... we'll sell that on the black yeah. market. Yeah, kind of like the com robot stuff. Yeah, right. Um, Throwback. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I, I actually do. I, I actually am very intrigued. <laughs> Not bad, right? Yeah, the business side of it, I, I love. 
Yeah. Um, maybe we we ask our uh, writers to start writing some scripts. Sure. Because there will mean to be some scripted parts. Yeah. Right. There's no way some of that stuff. Like, imagine the chicks like, ooh, I don't like to go in lake water. With clothes on. With clothes on. And boom. Yeah. Whips those big titties out. Yeah. And, gets and it'll, be, it'll be unrated. Yeah. Like, we'll, we'll have nudity. Yeah. Right? They can fuck. Yeah. Okay, well now we're getting... <laughs> I want there to be a conversation where it's like, there's this beefcake of a dude. Yeah, yeah. But he's got, like, a micro penis. Yeah. And, like, it's a big issue. It is a big issue. Like, it's a big issue. Like, three three inches hard, I'm saying. Like, when it's almost like you poke it, it, like, inverts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you could put it back in if you wanted to. There's put enough... Back where it belongs. It's like a fallopian tube. <laughs> <laughs> um... Yeah, I think it. Uh, I think this is a smash hit already. Yeah, yeah, bunch of grifters productions too. Bunch of grifters productions, which is yeah. Well, maybe it will. We're gonna be on the island. Maybe we'll talk to Seth Rogen. Maybe he'll fund it. You know, mm-hmm. he started on Freaks and Geeks. Yeah, maybe he's looking to toss twenty five thousand dollars to some randos. I'll, I'll make some calls. Yeah, I'll make some calls. Oh, we'll we'll nice. we'll also maybe get a name. Yeah, we'll polish it. We'll, 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 it's in the yeah. works. It's in the works. No, this is a, good. It's a good idea. If, if you guys have ideas too, yeah, let us know. Let us know. Yeah. I'd like to hear some names. Or yeah. things to add to the show. Yeah, or things to add to the show. Yeah, maybe some events. Yeah. Right? <laughs> What's an event you would add? The Yorkton Yodel. <laughs> <laughs> yodel <Yeah! laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Who can do the best? Yeehaw! Uh, are we shitting? It happens. So. Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys. We're playing Shit Happens. You had a hell of a win last week. I actually did kind of. I'm blown away you didn't go higher. Is it 6-5? I, I, I don't remember. It's 6-5 for you. What? Dude, I came back a little bit, hey? Yeah, I, I was coming back. Now you're back. And... Maybe you can scratch my back. Funny thing is, okay. if you want to scratch my back, it's located on my cock. Do you know what that's from? No. Oh, my God. You're so, so cultured. Sorry. Super bad. Oh fuck, man! I haven't seen Superbad in a while. Jesus, is that like in the first part? It's around the beginning. Yeah, because isn't he like addicted to drawing dicks? Yeah, interesting. The first ever pick a card. So you want me done already? Yeah, I had this one like two weeks ago. <laughs> well, don't put it out in the universe. Stop manifesting. And you're gonna get one. You got it. <laughs> like fuck you. You said it, and then All it right, happens. I want a new one. You're gonna get a new one here. A new card. New card. Nah, shit. You found that one? Yeah. Okay. What? <laughs> I thought it went deep. <laughs> Apparently not. You don't go deep enough. That's your problem. Well, <laughs> some of us can, okay? <laughs> <laughs> My dick isn't that small! <laughs> it's just the right size. I've actually been told that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not enough to please me, but it's not enough to ruin my night. You no. Know, <laughs> I've been told once by a girl that I have a husband dick. What does that mean? Just that it's to a, keep you around? No, that it's it's like it's a pretty dick where she'd she'd like marry that kind of dick. Really? Yeah. I took it as a compliment. Damn. Yeah. I've been told I, I have a horse cock. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough. Because it gets smaller at the tip. It gets bigger on the tip. That's bigger horse the tip. cock works. Oh, right. Big head. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Early engagement. Yeah, who knows? All right. We always talk about our dicks at the end of the podcast. <laughs> it's kind of like a little Easter egg. <laughs> All right. This one's going to be a new one. Okay. I don't think we've had this one. Hmm. You're starting this one. <laughs> okay. So, we um, we just recently booked our first um, overseas tour. So, we're flying over uh, right now to Istanbul. Where's Where? Istanbul? I don't even know that was a place. Uh, we're flying over to Istanbul, um, and we're, we're there. We do a show. It goes fantastic. We do really well. Um, and then... Uh, we fly into Italy, actually, t- uh, about a week later. We kind of stayed in there. We partied a little bit. We chatted with some of the fans. Um, we uh, we did move a little bit of money for 
mafia boss, so that was a whole thing, but that was something unrelated. We leave Istanbul. We go over to Italy. Um, we're in Italy. We, uh, we're in Mykonos. Uh, we go down to Greece. We, we're just kind of exploring, you know, that part of the world. Yeah. Right? It's very beautiful. And um, we go out one night. We're having a nice Italian dinner, and uh, this one group of girls, it, it's three girls, right? Uh, f- sorry, four girls. They're absolute cuties, and uh, they're like, oh, we're, oh, my God, you guys are a bunch of grifters. They're friends of the pod. And they're like, yeah, we're in town right now. Um, we were, we're just from Switzerland. We're on a ski team, and uh, we were just, um, we're actually, we're actually huge fans of the pod. And we heard you guys were going to be in here, and we can't believe we went to the same restaurant as you guys. Um, so, anyways, we start talking with them. They're absolute cuties. Yeah. We're vibing. You're vibing with two of them. I'm vibing with two of them. Um, it's just going way too good, way too good to be true because this is a fake story and it's not real. Yeah. And um, we're 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 chilling with them, and uh, they're like, "Yeah, we're staying at this hotel. They're staying the same hotel as us, Damn. right? Same floor as us. Everything's Whoa. going perfectly." But it's like six o'clock at night. We were we kind of went for like you know earlier dinner, but there's a whole event, right? There's a whole event going on at the hotel. Uh, no, it's actually down by the beach, okay. and it's kind of like a it's kind of like a full moon uh, night. Have you ever been to a full moon party or heard of these? Um, okay, hold on. Where am I again? We're in Italy. Okay. Yeah, it's a it's a full moon party. It's kind of like a Thailand thing, but they're doing one there because there's like a really big uh, Filipino community there. So they're having a full moon event. It's a party. It's a massive party. Yeah. Right? And we're just high on Valium. We're getting fucking... Ri- we're just absolutely partying our asses off. We're making out with both of our girls. We're just chilling. We're having a great time. And then they're like, oh my God, there's a bull. There's a bull, right? And so... There's like everybody screaming and like, but it's like excited screaming and stuff. And there's a guy with like, uh, like the red little thing, and he's like playing with the bull, and everybody's <laughs> fucking chilling, and uh, and you're feeling like fucking edgy, right? And he's like, yeah, somebody come out, somebody come out, and then you come out, right? And he's like, awesome, right? You're standing there, and he's like, stand right here, stand right here, right? And he has the little the red thing, right? And uh, he puts it right in front of you, and the bull's coming right at you, and it just fucking penetrates you right in the pecs, starts tearing you to shreds, and you get gored by a bull. Damn. In the middle of a beach in front of everyone. That's bad. You're dying. You're dead. 95. 90.5. That's that's really good. 4.5? Yeah, but you've been really on your career, so. I don't know. (laughs) <laughs> from from partying with Swiss girls to gourd by a <laughs> All right. How do I want to do mine here? I think I've got this one already. You want to have? Yeah. You think you saw it? <laughs> Did you see it? No. Mental games. I feel like we might have had this one already. What is it? No, I'm not telling you. <laughs> All right, so we're big, right? The Bunch of Grifters production is yeah. massive. We're it's, producing it's movies now. We're producing pornos. Yeah. Um, the podcast is huge. We're doing live tours. We're starting to tour globally now. Right. We're going to countries we can't even pronounce or didn't even know existed. <laughs> True. <laughs> so yeah. we get invited out to this country called uh, Burundi. <laughs> Burundi? Do you know where Burundi is? No. It's in uh, the Tuvalu, uh, Somalia. Jesus Christ. Niger. It's probably Ooh, a state. Edward. Central African Republic, South Sudan, Chad, Burundi. Jesus Christ, keeps going on. Anyways, we're in Burundi. It's in Africa. That's probably a state, not a country. Or is it a country? It's a country. Oh, pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me, Burundi. Maybe it's a state. Whatever. Burundi. It's probably probably a state. State of Burundi. Anyways, we're in Africa. (laughs) In Burundi. (laughs) (laughs) No, Africa's a continent. There's definitely countries in Africa. Yeah, you're right. I think we're we're so fucking retarded. (laughs) We're in Burundi. Okay. Yeah, the the country. We gotta go to Burundi now. (laughs) I want to make a trip to Burundi. I don't think we're gonna want to go to Burundi. Um, Maybe we do. So we go to Burundi, right? Yeah, they love us there. Like we're all over the fucking place. Really, we're the biggest name around. Wow, they love us. I don't know how big Burundi is, but (laughs) country fucking retard. I'm just saying it might be small. It might just be the size of a city. Um, (laughs) So we're in Burundi. We're having a great time, right? We're just doing show after show after show. Yeah, everyone loves us. Yeah, and. uh, so we end up going out one night to this club in Burundi. <laughs> I'm actually curious. I just want to see if there's a club in Burundi. <laughs> Burundi. How do you spell it? Burundi is B-U-R-U-N-D-I. Uh, 
for, for country Andrew. in East Africa. All right, so we're going to the Toxic Nightclub toxic. in Burundi. This is the Burundi flag. It's it's a uh, it's kind of cool. Wait, what? That's cool. That's a fucking cool flag, actually. Well, they got some shit going on. Dude, there. look at Burundi. That's a fucking cool flag. So we're in this. We're in the city of Bujumbura. Okay. In Burundi. Bujumbura. Bujumbura. Yeah. We're going to the Toxic Nightclub. In Bujumbura. We're gonna have a great time, right? Sounds fucking amazing. So you end up getting a little bit of control that night. Oh. You did so much coke. You're slapping these strippers across the place. Okay. You're like, just like losing it. You're okay. having like a total panic attack. You're Yikes. beating people up. Okay. They have very strict laws in place here in uh, Bujurambi, Burundi. Burundi. Yeah. And um, so the cops end up showing up to the nightclub and they start taking you, right? And I'm trying to fight. I'm trying to like get you back. No, Jeremy. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't take me. You didn't do anything, but you did. You know, you killed a stripper or two, like accidentally. I killed them. Yeah. Okay. I committed murder. Yeah. Okay. Which is, they are very against that. Oh, they are. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Toxic nightclub is <gasps> not, not for happy the murder with you. <laughs> so, uh, you end up going to prison, and you did so much damage. You end up spending five years in a third world prison. That's your card. In Burundi, a third world country. Just because it's it's an underdeveloped country. I hope so, at least. Seventy seven point five. That's probably way too high. It was eighty six point five. Oh shit. Yeah, you're right. I'll take this one. Six yeah. six. Higher, eh? Wow, eighty six. I, I almost went seventy three, so that was a good uh That's a hard card. That's a hard card. Burundi. Burundi. I learn something new every day. Yeah. Do you know what Burundi's a third world country? I think so. I thought it was, so you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Probably. I fucking hope it is. If it's not, I'm sorry to all the people that live there. To all our fans in Burundi. <laughs> we're the biggest there. If we're we were the biggest thing there, they wouldn't put me to jail. Yeah, but they have strict laws in place. Right, right, right. They don't like murder. Yeah. Fuck. Fuck. Or maybe they love it. Well, either way, I already <laughs> lost. <so. laughs> well, this one hail has been a great treat. I'm about to finish my second. We ended it this way. <laughs> hey, y'all! Hey, y'all! <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, my fucking God. The audio podcast will end there, not this one, because I'm not fast enough to <laughs> click on the button. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. It's been oh, a fucking... Those Monty Pythons. Yeah, I fuck so, fuckers. <laughs>